I want to wish to everyone a very, very warm welcome in this beautiful town of Zermatt. And thank you for being with us uh, tonight, this afternoon. Just a few words to give you an introduction on the summit. A systemic crisis has recently shaken our economic foundations, but apparently we have not seized the opportunity to think deeply about the limitations of our current system. Major imbalances have, for the most part, enormous global impact, and its compound effect forces mankind to face together challenges of a size and complexity never seen before. Meanwhile, the company, a model well suited to the challenges of the Industrial Revolution and for the development of global trade, has never been questioned, and it's revealing today its shortcomings, highlighting the fact that it is probably obsolete or, at the least, needs to be radically altered under a new economic paradigm. In this sense, the first edition of the Zermatt Summit proposed that this new paradigm, putting back the economy to serve the person, applied to the responsible company, revolves around finding the right balance between three key roles, entrepreneurship, back to creativity, to innovation, to serve human and social progress, leadership, back to ethics and human development, corporate statementship, back to the common good and to politics. The company is at the heart of the challenge because it experiences the concrete opportunities and challenges of our time. It can be an instrument of an economy that dominates the human person, or instead, if it wants to, it can combine economic with social and environmental progress. This is why this new paradigm must be accompanied by the emergence of a new leadership, servant leadership, which is the theme of this year. Despite the fact that there are many responsible leaders, the attitude of greed and self-interest of some of them has been pointed out as being one of the causes of the global systemic crisis. So yes, we need more regulations, but regulations enough uh, alone is not enough. The servant leader, rather than serve his own ambitions, must learn to put himself entirely at the service of his community or his company. The servant leader should inspire others to open up to the world, invite them to fully assume their responsibilities, and assist others in striving towards a shared objective which is more important than the satisfaction of each other's immediate individual interests. In other words, the, sh the search for the common good. This implies the adoption of a new vision, a new approach, a new corporate culture. Among the servant leaders that we have invited this year they are the new heroes of society and of the economy. Dr. Shirin Ebadi, Nobel Peace winner, a person of courage, serving justice to defend human rights, especially those of women. Dr. Malika Sarabai, activist, Indian classical dancer and playwright, who deals with themes of society in order to open hearts and minds. Mr. Jakob von Uxkühl, former European parliamentarian, founder of the Right Livelihood Award and the World Future Council. Dr. Francisco van der Hof, co-founder of the fair trade label Max Avalar, which has become an inspiring, sustainable new business model. Mr. Jimmy Wales, founder of Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia champion of open innovation, improved by volunteers around the world who offer their expertise for free. Mr. Xavier Fontanet, president of Essilor, the world's leading eyewear company that has corporate culture of ambitious target setting with employees as shareholders and active participants in the decision-making process. Mr. Hernando de Soto, founder of the Institute of Liberty and Democracy, a think tank recognized at international level, which establishes legal systems for poor countries to gain access to property rights. This, these are only a few among the many talented and visionary leaders that we are proud to host. 
A first in these editions are initiatives or actionable ideas for which servant leaders are carriers. They are concrete projects and best practice applicable to companies and organizations. For instance, good practices in daily company management. The Centre des, De des Jeunes Dirigeants d'Entreprise is an international 5,000 member strong network of companies dedicated to developing and training managers. They will present the GPS, which is an online program available to help assess the social responsibility of businesses. Service Industriel de Genève is a utility firm and has developed an evaluation system and bonus scheme based on economic, social and environmental goals. The Foundation for New Business Ethics in Spain has developed a website, wedreambusiness.org, that lists businesses and practices bringing them to the forefront of sustainable development. GRLI, a global network of business schools and multinationals, promotes a research project for a new corporate vision of the 21st century. The World Future Council is promoting the creation of ambience persons for future generations, designed to be an interface to influence the public administration sector representing future generations. Other initiatives are presented, such as the Fondation Résonance, that brings free, free classical music to places where it is not, Seven Fund, which promotes enterprise solutions to poverty. The Carpenter Fund, which finances projects for the Catholic Church in Africa. A cooperative of farmers, UCIRI, under the Max Havela Fair Trade label in Mexico, is seeking to improve their management skills. And last but not least, the Aconcagua Summit, an initiative from the Foundation Desafío de Humanidad in Chile. In alliance with the Zemat Summit, the idea is to initiate a route of summits humanizing globalization around the world. We wish to, think, to thank our partners. Without them, this second edition could not have taken place. And you see this on the screen, our institutional partners, Loterie Romande, Canton du Valais, and Town of Zermatt, our supporting members, Chopard, TLS, and Banque Cantonale du Valais, our academic members, IMD, EPFL and CEIBS, our association NGO members, the World Future Council, IMD alumni, GRLA, Filias, Aconcagua Summit, Centre des Jeunes Dirigeants, Entreprise et Progrès, Économie et Conscience, and Résonance. And of course, our media partner, Le Temps. All servant leaders have one thing in common. They have succeeded against all expectation, driven by their values, their courage, their hearts and minds. They are a clear proof of the formidable terrain of exploration, of dreams and opportunities offered by our planet by putting the human person at the center of the economy and society. Our dearest, our dearest wish is that the Zermatt Summit inspires each and every one of you and us to become an agent of change. By opening our hearts and minds and becoming an example, we can start now to humanize globalizations. Thank you very much.